How to make a loan payment. To begin, select View and then Loans. Select the borrower from the drop down list and you will see all of the loans assigned to this borrower. To create a scheduled payment, click the Scheduled button. Take a look at the new screen that appears. The bottom half of the screen is where you will deal with paying your loan. The top half of the screen shows all of the information about the loan that you are working with. You can see all of the various information by switching from one tab to another. The payment date will default to the next due date. The amount is the scheduled payment amount. You can also see when the last payment date occurred. You can change the amount of money you want to pay on the loan by changing the amount in the Amount field. You can also change what day you want the payment to be posted. This is circled in red. You can customize the calculated numbers and accounts used by checking the Override checkbox. This is circled in green. In order to save the transaction, choose where you want the payment to come from from these drop-down lists, circled in red. For example, you can choose Bank and Cash. You can also change the amount applied to escrow by editing the number in the escrow amount field, circled in green. Also, note the Outstanding Charges box to the right, circled in blue. If this is red, this means that the user needs to deal with some sort of outstanding charge, like a late fee. Loan Assistant will then post the transaction and will apply this information to QuickBooks. The transaction can easily be deleted or reversed by right-clicking the transaction and choosing the appropriate item. If you choose to reverse a payment, you can charge an insufficient funds fee. This would be selected in the event of a check bouncing or if the borrower has insufficient funds.